It has been months since I have taken apart the miniature eighth mile drag bike known as the P26 Pea Shooter. I'm honestly not sure if I remember how to put it back together. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Roland. This is Torque Racing Production, and welcome back for another episode of Pea Shooter. So, on today's episode, I'm gonna start the reassembly of the new engine. And this time, we've got some new parts to go back in. All right, so first things first, right here. Uh, let me get it out. Right here is this little hole um, that was uh, that was where the uh, RPM governor was. So now I need to plug that back up. So the best way to do that, I think, is going to be uh, to tap it out and then put a screw in it with some good Loctite. Um, so that way you don't have to have a nut on the back up here and have to worry about anything. Um, I don't have to worry about the nut coming loose and getting inside the engine. You know, so this way... If I tap it and put a screw in it, if it works itself out, then, you know, it'll it'll work itself out and I'll see an oil leak and I'll be like, oh no, the screw came out and I can put a screw back in it. But if I put a nut on the back of this, I'm afraid that if it worked its way out, then that nut would be in here and it could cause catastrophic damage. So I'm going to tap this out, put a screw in it. We'll go from there. All right, so I've actually never got to use this kit. So this will be the first time I'm uh, doing this. <laughs> there we go, I guess I had it. Had it in there wrong. I'm gonna do this nice and slow. I don't want to force it. We have a problem. stock flywheel had this big hole in it for this so it wouldn't be in the way yep whereas this does not have that that throws a major wrench in the plans. Okay, so in order to get this to fit, I'm gonna have to take this back out, probably cut that, and hope that still has enough thread in it to do what I need it to do. Ah, where there once was a hole, now there is not. Okay, so for this billet racing flywheel, I did have a problem where that bolt had to be shaved off and welded up. Um, that's fixed, but now a problem that I'm having is um, this. Uh, this is what... Um, this right here, your pull cable sets in, and that's what grabs this for the for you to be able to pull start it. So if you look, so if you look, you got some holes right here. These holes don't line up. And that has a lip to it right there. I'm gonna have to shave that lip off and move this hole a little closer in. So that way these holes will line up. Um, so that way I can get that to bolt up. All right, so now I need to get this seated a little farther down. Um, and really, I don't really know how the proper way is to seat this. So I'm gonna try to let the threads do it. And um, I'm just gonna lube some uh, washers up. And we'll put Oh, okay guys, so um, I royally screwed up. Uh, I completely ruined 
a uh, $175 billet aluminum racing flywheel. But let me tell you why. So I had no clue that whenever you bought this thing, um, that it come with spacers and such like that. You know, so like the factory flywheel sits all the way down flush, so that way it can read, uh, or so that way this right here can uh, pick up the magnet sensor on it and everything. Well, I didn't know that the that this aftermarket flywheel set higher up, so you have to put these spacers in it. I didn't know that. So needless to say, uh, I was trying to modify the flywheel to fit further down on it, and I just completely ruined it. So let me show you how to properly install your billet aluminum racing flywheel on one of these little Predator engines. All right, so of course, this particular engine is a 93cc Honda clone. Uh, it's from a CT100U. Uh, now, these engines share a lot of similarities with the 79cc Predator, so a lot of these parts are interchangeable. For instance, the cam that I have in this, uh, it's actually a high-lift, high-performance cam that's for a 79cc. The flywheel, the clutch, all these aftermarket parts that I bought for it are actually for a 79cc, so they're compatible on that note. All right, so like I was saying, first things first, before we get, go to actually bolt the flywheel on, um, we have some spacer bolts, or some spacers and some longer bolts that moves this uh, magnet reader further out, so that way once you set your flywheel on there and get it bolted up, it's spaced properly and uh, it can pick it up. So let's go ahead and take these bolts off Get ready for that. All right. Need to take these loose. Oops. Oops. Set them over to the side. All right, so these take a 5 sixteenths. Oops. All right, so here's your little kit that comes with all your little spacers and your longer bolts and such. All right, now I'm not gonna tighten these fully down yet because I want a little bit of adjustability here once I get the flywheel on. So these other bolts, of course, is what bolts uh, your, um, this outside uh, cover on. So you got spacers for those too, so that way uh, it pulls your cover out far enough so that way it clears uh, this being moved up. All right, so I may have already mentioned it in the other video, but um, so obviously your stock flywheel has this open area where this is not. Um, so that's going to have to be cut off and ground down, welded up, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already covered that. Right there. It's pretty solid. gashed my finger open right there. That was nice. Jeez. That didn't feel good. Well, I'm bleeding pretty bad. Well, of course. Alright, well, minor accident, but nothing a little bit of uh, a paper towel and some tape can't cure. Well, now you can see here what I was talking about. I wanted to make sure that I had some room. Let's see what I was talking about. I wanted to make sure I had some room to adjust this. 
because I want it to be close, but not like directly up on it, you know. There we go. That ought to do it. That puts us right in the center of our magnet there, so that's nice. I've got two spacers on the uh, the magnet sensor there. It looks like you only need one for this cover. That looks a lot better. Ooh, shiny race parts. Love it. All right, let us continue. <laughs> 